Hey, John here from Web Agents. Thanks for joining me on this video. What I'm going to be showing you today is how to modify the footer area of your website, in particular, to get rid of statements like this one powered by Astra, which is the WordPress theme. And so, why why would you want to remove that? Well, some of us are fussy. We don't want to have that there because it makes our website look a little less professional. So, um, look, it's not a big deal. You can leave it there if you like. But if you want to remove that, I'm going to show you not only how to remove that, but how to edit that too. Let you know you might want to put something else there. You know, you want to put some other text. Uh, whatever it might be. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Well, we're going to talk today. We're going to be looking at the Astra theme. And, but what I'm going to show you will apply to a lot of other WordPress themes also. All right, so to do this, we're going to have to log into our WordPress site. So you go to your, your own domain. So I'm working on johnslikes.com. Uh, very basic site. There's nothing much here, but, you know, we, we're working on it together and learning stuff together. So um, johnslikes.com forward slash uh, WP hyphen admin so whatever your domain is just go forward slash wp hyphen admin it's going to allow you to word, log into the wordpress dashboard obviously it's going to ask you for your username and password i'm already logged in so it just took me straight in here all right so once we go in here again for this particular theme to modify that foot area we want to go into the appearance section here on the right hand side and go to uh, customize Okay, next we're going to scroll down and we're going to go footer and footer bar. Okay, so here and here it is right here. So right now it's putting copyright with the copyright symbol current year site title and there it is there and then powered by <laughs> powered by Astra there. So again, all I have to do, I can just highlight that, click on the back uh, space key on my keyboard. Done. Look at that. It's actually even updating here at the same time. So there we go. I got rid of it. And again, if I want to type something else in, um, you know, uh, if I want to type whatever I want to type, best uh, site on the uh, on the web or whatever, you know, whatever you like, you can type in there and and do. Um, yeah, as you please. So, all right, so I'm just going to delete that. All right, so we've done that and we just click on publish and that's it. That is now saved. Now, um, I'm going to show you something else because, again, it's different for every theme. So, if you don't have the Astra theme, you have another theme, you might be able to to get into it the same way you just saw me do do it now but if you can't get in through the if you can't find the option me. Oh, me that. if you can't find the option in customize what you can also do is um, I'll show you somewhere else where you can go for, for some themes you actually have to modify the um, uh, go into again into appearance but you have to Go into theme editor and modify one of your files here. So it's good to be really careful um, when you you if you when you come into theme editor. Um, what I'm about to show you, if you follow it carefully and you're doing website backups, you should be fine. All right. So on the right hand side here, we're going to scroll down until we get to this file here, theme footer or footer.php. Footer.php, that's what we want, so we're going to click on that. Now, sometimes with some themes, that's where you have to go to modify, to take out, you know, powered by whatever your theme is, and you will see it in here. But again, you do have to be careful because there, there is code here, and um, you just, you know, what I would recommend you do, if you're not sure, just highlight everything in this footer.php file. Just highlight it, copy it, and you know, put it in a notepad file. So paste it, copy and paste it in a notepad file, 
and then go ahead and make your changes and if it doesn't work out you can always come back in and uh, paste what was there before um, okay so I hope you found this uh, video helpful if you did a thumbs up would be much appreciated and uh, leave a comment too if you um, especially if you there is something that we're not covering in our channel that we uh, that you like help with I'm always checking the comments and also um, if there's anything you need help with your online business whether it's your website your online marketing give us a call at web agents or send us an email you can find our contact details at webagents.com.au this is uh, John thanks so much for watching this video